All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add contacts and also make contact groups. Most people will use this um, to email out uh, a message to your parents um, with like one click. So how do we do that? You're going to go up to your mail button here and click contacts and this will open up your contacts. Um, so if I click that I will see I can see students that I've students that I've had. I can see staff members. These are people who are already in my contacts list. Something to note: um, if you look at Amy Anderson here, um, I've already added her to a group, a contacts list, so the PB first grade teachers. You can also see I'm friends with her on Google Plus, and it will tell you the circle um, that they're friends in. So you might see if you've created groups before, or you're friends with someone on Google Plus, you'll see extra labels over here. So what you're going to want to do first is have your email list from your parents and you're going to click new contact and for each parent you're going to type their name in and then enter their email address. Then just push return and that person will be added to your contacts. So you'll do that for however many parents you have in your class. And then once you're finished adding all of the people into separate individuals, um, as a contact, the next thing you're going to do is make a contact list. So you can open up one of their uh, one of their contacts, or if you want to do a search, you by further name you can do that, and then click next to the box of the person you want to add. So I had my Gmail. At the top, you can click the group button and click create new, and you will be prompted to give the group a name. This. You may think carefully of how you want to name it. This is what you're going to type in when you're composing a new message to find the group. So if this was my class list from this year, I maybe would write 2014, 15 parents. Call it, push OK. And now it's telling me this has been created and whoever I had checked will be members of that group. So if I go back over um, to my contacts list, I can see here's my group I just made, 2014-15 parents. I currently have one person as a member of that group. If I click that, it will show me who is a member in that group. I can now click the Add button up here, and in this box, type the names of all the other parents who I'd like to add to it. Let's pretend Nora um, was someone I wanted on my list, so I could type Nora. I could find her and type that in. Um, let's see, Carol Lawrence was in my classes, I can do that too. When you're finished, just push add and then those three, those other two people will be added. So I now currently have three people in that list. If you have any questions about how to do this, let me know. And then the last thing I'll show you is to actually send an email to that group. So I'm going to go up here, go back to my mail button, click compose. And whatever you name that group is what you're going to type in. So I called mine 2014-15 parents. It autofills here. Just click it, and now all those people in that list will automatically be filled there. And then you can um, type your subject, your message, and click, and click send, and it will go to your whole parent list. Again, if you have questions, let me know. Um, but this will be a pretty handy thing to do for you. On a side note, just a context list, some context list that I've made just to make my life easier. Um, I made a contact list for each grade level so that if I want to email the fifth grade teachers, instead of typing all three of their names in, I can just type PB5 and then all of them will be listed there. And I'll just show you quickly what that looks like because that's something you might want to consider too. So these are just groups I've made. So if I want to do that, I just click here and it puts all three of their names in. So good luck with that.